Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. I hope you're ready because we will start right now. Then we'll discover together, well, the plural form, how to construct or how to make a, a plural form. So it's le pluriel en français. So let's start now. So we'll take this example, okay, basic example. A friend, un ami, un ami, okay, un Ami. Okay, so here you can see that we've got this uh, article indéfini, hein? the masculine form, singular form, and then we've got ami, friend, like that, uh, at the singular form as well. So if we want to construct the plural form, well, obviously the article will change, okay? Uh, we saw previously that uh, the plural article was de, in that case, and then we keep the same word, so ami, and the rule goes like that. You get to add at the end of the word S. Okay? In that case, and as in most of the cases, you won't pronounce it, but you will have to put it. Okay? And so, you get de ami. Okay? And if you make the, the liaison, so the link between the two, you will get des amis. Okay? Des amis. So, ami, remember, doesn't change. Even if you get to write the S, then you don't pronounce it. Okay? And now, let's see a few examples. So, this one. Une femme. Une femme. Okay? So, if we think about the rule that we saw previously, then une is changing, and then the article become de. Okay? Femme, you write it like it was at the singular form and then you just add this s at the end and as we said you don't pronounce it so you get de femme okay de femme so une femme singular and then de femme right and then un homme if we make this little link between the two un homme un homme and um, and then we'll put this word at the plural form. So same thing here. So this uh, article indefini un is becoming de in that case, and then you rewrite the word um, and after that you just put the s at the end. You don't pronounce it, so you get des hommes, des hommes, des hommes. Okay, un homme singular form, des hommes plural form. Okay, and then I took uh, well this example with this article defini le. Okay, so the the le livre le livre. Okay, if you want to put the plural form, then the article here becomes les. So that's the plural form. Okay, les, and then same rule. You just write livre, and then you put s at the end, but then you don't pronounce it. Les livres. Le livre, les livres. So it's quite interesting uh, in this example here, because if you listen carefully, le livre, les livres. So the only way to know whether it's singular or plural is to pronounce correctly the article, in that case, le, and here, les. So it's really this le, e, uh, and then les, e. Eh. That will make the difference between the singular form and the plural form. Okay? As usual in French, we've got exceptions. So you get words uh, that will end with this E, A, U. Combination of vowels. Like, for instance, UN, O. So remember when you get these, these vowels like that, then you get only the sound O. Okay, une O. So in that case, well, you won't add the S as uh, like we saw previously, but then it will be the rule is that you get to put X here at the end, but then same rule, you don't pronounce it. Des O. Okay, une O. Des O. All right. Second group, words ending with A. U. Here is an example. Un tuyau. 
okay same rule here you won't add s at the end but instead of s you will put x okay de tuyo same rule you don't pronounce it de tuyo okay un tuyo de tuyo so the only difference will be with the article because the word will be pronounced the same way and then the last group is uh, the words ending with e u e so let's take one example un feu un feu and basically the same same rule you don't put s but you will put x instead and then you don't pronounce it des feux un feu des feux okay there is another group of words so because normally uh, the words ending with the uh, o u like that here o u and then uh, the sound is u okay normally these words just behave like the others so uh, you just need to put s at the end but of course as usual in french we've got few exceptions so i've been listing all the exceptions of the u ending you know, words that will well like we saw previously not take uh, s but then take x at the end okay but still as usual it's not pronounced so it doesn't really affect the pronunciation but it's just for you if you want to write them correctly at the plural form remember it's not s but it's x okay so the first one un bijou okay so i did put the translation here pluriel des bijoux okay then un caillou un caillou plural des caillou okay remember you don't pronounce it the, the, the final x then un chou okay remember when you combine this c and h you get the sound sh 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 chou un chou pluriel des chou okay un genou un genou des genoux un hibou un hibou des hiboux des hiboux un joujou un joujou des joujou des joujou un pou un pou des pou des pou okay so the good thing if you remember carefully what uh, i've been introducing so far is that the main main group of uh, words are actually you, you only need to add s at the end and then you well basically you don't pronounce the the, the, the s or then the exceptions you will like these ones here you will have to add this x at the end but still you won't pronounce uh the the, the x okay um but still as usual we've got exceptions so a uh, few exceptions not that much but then uh, these exceptions are really really strange because it does mean that the pronunciation will change okay so we'll take this one uh buff uh, buff and then add the plural well you just write it like we saw previously so you just add this s but then pronunciation changes quite much because you get de bu de bu all right un buff de bu all right then un oeuf un oeuf des e okay and we'll make the, the liaison here to make it sound more beautiful des e des e all right un oeuf des e and then the last one this is probably the the the, the most strange one un 
œil, un œil, un œil, des yeux, des yeux, des yeux, 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 ok? Don't pronounce the final X as usual. Yeux, yeux, des yeux. Discover together. Le verbe pouvoir. Pouvoir means uh, to can, ok? So it's quite useful. And then we'll discover it because, uh, well, it's not a regular verb, so it's, uh, it's always quite, uh, quite interesting to take a few minutes to really work on it and uh, try to uh, remember the way it is conjugated at the present form, okay? So the first form that we'll have is je, as usual. So je peux, okay? Final X not pronounced here, okay? So you get the X, but you don't pronounce it. So basically you get the sound peu, peu, je Peu, ok, so I can, je peux, ok. Then, tu, tu peux, same pronunciation and same, same uh, spelling or writing, ok, P-E-U-X, ok, you don't pronounce the final X, tu peux, ok, je peux, tu peux. Then, il, elle peut, so you will put T at the end, you don't pronounce it. Il peut, elle peut. Okay? So if you look carefully, you've got peu here, you've got peu here, and you've got peu here. Okay? So for the three first, or four, because uh, there is the feminine form as well, for the four, four first persons here, well, it's the same phonetical form. It's peu. Okay? And then nous. So... A uh, classic ending for nous, this uh, ONS ending for nous, okay? Nous pouvons, nous pouvons, okay? You don't pronounce the, the final S, nous pouvons. Mm -hmm. Then, vous pouvez, okay? Classic ending as well for the uh, vous form. A Z, like that, okay? Remember, you pronounce it E, E, okay? Vous pouvez, vous pouvez. And then, plural form, il, elle, peuvent. Il, elle, peuvent. Okay? So, uh, be, be careful because, uh, as you can see, you've got this e, u here, e, u here, e, u here. And then it's coming back here as well. Okay? So, the only o, u, o, u, that does connect to the infinitive here. Pouvoir, it's only for nous and vous. Okay? So, let's read them one more time. Je peux. Tu peux, il peut, elle peut, nous pouvons, vous pouvez, ils peuvent, elles peuvent. Ok? As usual, as usual, this ending, this E-N-T ending, you write it, you don't pronounce it. Ok? Peuvent, peuvent, peuvent. Ok? So it's really useful. Uh, you should really, I mean, definitely know it by heart. Ok? So try your best. Uh, well, watch again this video if you need it, and then uh, I hope it will enter in your head quite easily. Okay, uh, let's see some example now. Je peux chanter. Okay, je peux chanter. So you can see that in that case, when you construct a verb, or sorry, you construct a, a sentence with uh, the verb uh, pouvoir, here you've got a second verb, chanter, and it means to sing, okay, so I can sing, uh, well, you should all the time put the second verb at the infinitive form, okay, so when we talk about infinitive form, normally it's the basic form of the verb, okay, uh, je peux chanter, another example, tu peux partir, partir is to leave, you can leave, tu peux Partir. All right. Same thing here. Okay. Second verb. Well, basically coming right after, of course, and then at the infinitive form. All right. Elle peut dessiner. Dessiner is to draw. Elle peut dessiner. She can draw. Okay. Elle peut dessiner. And in this lesson, we will try to focus on le verbe devoir. Devoir means to must. Okay. So it's quite useful. And especially, it's not a regular verb, so it's always good to uh, spend a few minutes on the conjugation at the present of this verb, 
Okay, so let's start now. Let's see. So the verb devoir to must at the present form. Je dois. Okay, remember final S is not pronounced. Je dois. O E when you combine the two, you get the sound wa wa wa. Je dois. Okay. Tu dois. Final S not pronounced. Tu dois. Il, elle, doit. Final T, not pronounced. Il, doit, elle, doit. Okay? So if you have a look at these forms, phonetically, they are the same forms. Okay? So, doit, doit, and then doit. Okay? And then, nous is coming. Nous devons. Okay? Classic ending, O-N-S for nous. Okay? You just pronounce this on, O, N, this nasal, okay? And then the S, final S is not pronounced. Nous devons. Nous devons. Okay? Nous devons, well, basically, we must. Okay? And then, vous devez. Remember, classic ending for vous here, a Z, but then you pronounce this combination of two letters, E, E, devez, devez. Vous devez. All right. And then the last one. Ils doivent. So same thing. Classic ending for the plural form. E-N-T. Here. Okay. But then you don't pronounce it. Doivent. Doivent. Elles doivent. Ils doivent. Elles doivent. Okay. So let's repeat them one more time. Je dois. Tu dois. Il doit, elle doit, nous devons, vous devez, ils doivent, elles doivent. Alright, so let's see a few examples now. The first one, je dois étudier. Étudier is to study, okay? So it's a verb, and then the rule in French goes like that. If you've got to put two verbs in a sentence like here, the second one must be at the infinitive form. So when we talk about the infinitive, it's the basic form of the, the verb, okay? So, étudier, study. Je dois étudier. I must study. Je dois étudier, okay? Then, il doit choisir, okay? Same thing here. Choisir means to, to choose, okay? And so, I did put here, the infinitive form, so the basic form, IR form, il doit choisir. Okay, he must choose. And the last example, nous devons répondre. Répondre is to answer. Répondre here, okay. Nous devons répondre. We must answer. Nous devons répondre. We are going to discover together uh, European countries, so les pays européens. Okay, so let's start now with les pays européens. And the first one, la Grèce. La Grèce. Okay, so remember, gr, gr. And then this accent grave like that, open, Grèce. Okay, la Grèce. Le Portugal. Le Portugal. L'Espagne. L'Espagne. Okay, don't insist on the, the final E because basically it's not pronounced. L'Espagne. 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 L'Italie. 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 Okay, so you can see that for these two countries here, as they are starting with a vowel, like here, okay, as we saw in a previous lesson, the article is modified and then it's L apostrophe, like that, okay? Le Luxembourg, okay, final G not pronounced, and then when you combine this E, M here, you get the sound en, en, you don't pronounce the M at all, it's this nasal en, okay? Le Luxembourg. Le Luxembourg. Ok? La France. La France.
France, ok? A-N here, nasal, en, en, la France. Ok? We continue. Les Pays-Bas. Final S here, not pronounced. Same thing here. Pays, pays, and then bas. Les Pays-Bas. Ok? Then, l'Irlande. Remember? This is E and it should pronounce, it should be pronounced like E, E. Irlande. Irlande. Okay, A, N, A, D. And final E, not pronounced. Irlande. Le Royaume-Uni. Le Royaume-Uni. Le Royaume-Uni. Okay. L'Allemagne. L'Allemagne. Nye, 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 nye. Remember this G and E. It can be quite tricky at the beginning to produce. I mean, the sound. Nye, okay? But really, you should work on that because it's it's quite... Well, it's not coming all the time, but it's not rare. I mean, the sound is not rare in French, okay? Nye. L'Allemagne. L'Allemagne. Okay? La Belgique. Okay, remember Q, U, E here. You will get only the sound k, k, okay? Belgique, Belgique. So it's not Belgique, uh, not at all, okay? Uh, because it's only the k, k, Belgique, okay? Le Danemark. So same sound here, this k and then this q, u, e. Well, they will produce the same sound here. Belgique, le Danemark, okay? L'Autriche. Okay, remember, sh, sh here. L'Autriche. L'Autriche. Okay. La Suède. D, d. La Suède. Suède. Remember, e accent grave, it's really open. E, su, e. Suède. Suède. La Suède. La Finlande. I N here nasal un, A N nasal en, and then D final E not pronounced. La Finlande. Okay. L'Estonie final E not pronounced. L'Estonie. L'Estonie. La Lettonie. So remember when you get this E and then a double letter like that, T, T, okay, then you will have to open your E and it will become E, LE, Lettonie, LA, Lettonie, LA, Lituanie. Remember in French, <coughs> sorry, H doesn't exist, okay, so you don't pronounce it, and it's LI, TU, A, NI, Lituanie. La Lituanie. Okay? Continues. La Pologne. Nye, nye, again. La Pologne. La République Tchèque. So remember, Q, U, E, K, K, Tchèque. La, and then here as well, République. La République Tchèque. Ok? La République Tchèque. Chypre. Chypre. So remember, we've got this Y letter here. But then phonetically, when you pronounce it, it's like I. Ok? Ch Chypre. Ok? Malte. Same thing here. You don't insist on the final E. Malte. Malte. La... Slovenie. Remember, you get this E uh, accent aigu here. It's E, E. Slovenie. Final E, uh, as usual, not pronounced. La Slovenie. Okay? La Hongrie. So remember, H doesn't exist, so you don't pronounce it. So it starts with O N, ON, ON. And then GRI, GRI. Final E, uh, not pronounced. 
la Hongrie, la Hongrie. Les nationalités. So basically, I've been um, making uh, this uh, national this, uh, lesson based on the previous uh, lesson. So, leçon D. Okay, so I definitely invite you to check the leçon D if you want uh, that everything is uh, clear for you. Okay, but then les nationalités, and it's starting right now. La Grèce. Grec, so I will put each time the masculine form for the nationality. Grec, and the feminine form here for the nationality. Okay, so you get the country, la Grèce, and then you get Grec, masculine form, Grec, feminine form. You write them differently, but then if you listen carefully, Grec, Grec, you pronounce them the same way. Okay, le Portugal. Portugais, Portugaise. Okay, so listen carefully. Portugais, Portugaise. The only difference between the two, as usually when we'll have some, uh, well, nationalities ending with A, E, S, like that, E, and then the feminine form, as, okay, it will be only in this Z sound, the difference between the masculine form and the feminine form, okay? Masculine, Portugais. You don't pronounce the S, feminine form, Portuguese. You pronounce this Z sound, okay? And then, l'Espagne, Espagnol, nye, 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 remember, Espagnol, Espagnol. So you get this final E for the feminine form, but then phonetically it's the same. L'Italie, Italien, Italienne. Remember, when you get this E, followed by the double consonant like here, then you will have to open it. E, italienne, italienne, okay? Le Luxembourg, luxembourgeois, luxembourgeois, and then family form, luxembourgeoise, okay? Same thing here, only difference, joie, joie, Joise, z, z, okay, you insist on it. Luxembourgeois, masculine form, and then luxembourgeoise, feminine form. Then, la France, français, française, okay, c'est, and then says, okay, français, française. All right, it continues. Les Pays-Bas, néerlandais, Néerlandaise. Néerlandais. Néerlandaise. Okay. L'Irlande. Irlandais. Irlandaise. Le Royaume-Uni. Britannique. Okay. Only one form, whether it's masculine or feminine. Britannique. L'Allemagne, Allemand, Allemande. Okay, same thing here. En, okay, you don't pronounce the final D, but then you pronounce it here for the feminine form. Allemande, D, D, okay? Allemand, Allemande. La Belgique, Belge. So only one form here for the masculine and the feminine form. Le Danemark, Danois, Danoise, Z, huh? okay, insist on that, Danois, don't pronounce the final S, Danoise, here you pronounce it. L'Autriche, Autrichien, Autrichienne, so same thing here, you get E and then double N, you open the E, E, Autrichienne. Okay, Autrichien, Autrichienne. La Suède, Suédois, Suédoise. Okay, Suédois, Suédoise. La Finlande, Finlandais, 
finlandaise. Finlandais. Finlandaise. L'Estonie. Estonien. Estonienne. Same thing here. Double N, E, and then you open it. E. Estonienne. Estonienne. La Lettonie. Letton. 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 La Lituanie. Lituanien. Lituanienne. Same thing here. You open the A. 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 Lituanienne. Okay? Lituanien. Lituanienne. La Pologne. Polonais. Polonaise. Polonais. Polonaise. La République Tchèque. Tchèque. Okay, so here as well, you get only one nationality. So whether for masculine or feminine form, it will be the same. Czech. Okay. Chypre. Same thing here. Chypriot. She, remember this Y is pronounced like E. Okay. Chypriot. Chypriot. Okay. Malte. Malte. Maltese. So remember, as I said previously, the only difference est, es. Malte, Maltese. La Slovénie. So only one form here. Slovène. Slovène. Remember, E accent grave, you open it. E. Slovène. La Hongrie. Hongrois, hongroise. Okay? Hongrois, grois, hongroise. Okay? So here, final S not pronounced for the masculine form. And then you pronounce it here for the feminine form. Hongrois, hongroise. Les Amériques. Les Amériques. So let's see now. Les États-Unis. Okay, so if we make every links, we'll have it here and then here, okay? Les États-Unis. Les États-Unis. Le Canada. Le Canada. Le Mexique. Le Mexique. Mexique. It's really the X. Huh? Le Mexique. And then remember this Q-U-E, it's only K, K. Mexique. Okay? Le Brésil. Le Brésil. Okay, you will pronounce the final L here. And then remember, a uh, accent aigu goes like E. Bré. Brésil. Le Brésil. L'Argentine. Okay, so you get this nasal here. En, l'argent, and then tin, tin. Don't pronounce the final E. Uh, it just gives you the, the, the pronunciation of the N. In, in. L'Argentine. L'Argentine. Le Chili. Le Chili. Okay, remember, C-H, sh, 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 sh. Okay, chi, chili, le chili. La Bolivie. Okay, final E, uh, not pronounced. La Bolivie. La Bolivie. Alright, so uh, I assume everything is clear. We can repeat them one more time. Les États-Unis, le Canada, le Mexique, le Brésil, l'Argentine. Le Chili, la Bolivie. Okay? And then, we'll see now the nationality. So, you will see here each time. First, the masculine form, 
and then the feminine form. Okay, so les États-Unis, Américains. So when you talk about the nationality, Américain, masculine form, un, un, Américain, and then the feminine form, Américaine, Américaine. Okay, it's really open this A I E, Américaine. Okay. <coughs> Le Canada, Canadien. Yen, 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 here, canadien, canadienne, yen, yen, remember, uh, here you get double N, so you get to open the, the, uh, so it will become a, canadienne, okay, le Mexique, mexicain, un, here, like we had in américain, a, i, n, mexicain, and then, mexicaine, Mexicaine. Le Brésil. Brésilien. Yen, yen. Brésilien. Like we had for Canadien. Brésilien. Feminine form. Brésilienne. Yen, yen. Brésilienne. Ok. And then l'Argentine. Argentin. Yen. Gives you this. Un sound. Argentin. Okay, and then Argentine, Argentine. Okay, if you look carefully, well, basically the feminine form is the same as the, the name of the country. Okay, le Chili, Chilien, Chilien, yeah, yeah, Chilien, Chilienne, Chilienne. Okay, and then la Bolivie, Bolivien. Yeah, same. Bolivien. And then feminine form. Bolivienne. Bolivienne. This lesson will discover together le verbe attendre. So, attendre means to wait. Okay? So, it belongs to the third group of verbs. So, not uh, the regular one, the irregular. So, that's the reason why it's quite important to take a few minutes to uh, discover together the way to conjugate this verb at the present form. Okay? So, let's see now how it will go. So the first form will be j'attends. J'attends. Okay? You get D and S. Well, basically, you don't pronounce them. Okay? And then you get only the, the sound attends. Nasal here. En, en. J'attends. Okay? Second form. Tu attends. Okay? You can see that, well, it is exactly the same one. So, same way to pronounce it. Attend. Okay? Il attend. Elle attend. So the only difference between this one, so this il form and the tu or je form, okay, if you want to write, it's just that if you look carefully, you don't have the final s here, okay? But then basically, if you want to only pronounce or only speak, then, uh, well, it's exactly the same way to pronounce these forms, okay? J'attends, tu attends, il attend, elle attend, okay? But then, nous is coming here, alright, and then we'll get the classic ending for nous, so O-N-S, okay, you don't pronounce the S, so you get only this on sound, okay? Attendons, nous attendons, so we'll make the, the link between the two, la liaison, nous attendons, nous attendons, Vous form, same thing, classic ending for vous, a Z, okay? When you combine the two, you get the sound E, E, okay? Vous attendez, attendez, okay? Let's put here the liaison, the link. Vous attendez, vous attendez, okay? And the last one, same thing, classic ending for il, elle, at the plural form, E, N, T, but then you don't pronounce them. Il attend de 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 de. Okay, so remember you get to pronounce this de 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 at the end. Okay, elle attend. All right. If you make the link, ils attendent. Elles attendent. Okay. So let's read them. J'attends. Tu attends. Il attend. Elle attend, nous attendons, 
Vous attendez. Ils attendent. Elles attendent. Ok So I've been making few sentences just to show you how it works on the meaning. J'attends le train. So le train, the train, I wait. Ok I wait for the train, but then j'attends le train. Ok Tu attends avec moi. So you wait, and then avec means with moi, me. You wait with me. Tu attends avec moi. Il attend sa femme. Okay, remember, sa, it's the possessive. His, in that case. And then femme, wife. Il attend sa femme. Nous attendons tranquillement. Nous attendons tranquillement. So here, I wanted to show you how it could work if you put this tranquillement. So tranquillement is uh, quietly uh, and it's uh, an adverb. Okay, it's ending with ment like that, which is one of the classic ending for the adverbs. We'll have the time to, to see that a bit later. But then, yeah, quietly is tranquillement. Nous attendons tranquillement. So, basically, you put this adverb after your verb, okay? Nous attendons tranquillement. Vous attendez les enfants. Okay, children, les enfants. Vous attendez les enfants. Elles attendent votre réponse. Réponse, answer, and then remember, votre, it's the possessive, your. Elles attendent votre réponse. Okay? So I will read them one more time, and uh, I will read them at my normal speed. Okay? Just for you to get used. If, because I, I've been reading them quite slowly when, when we were just uh, see, well, we were covering them uh, previously, okay? So, j'attends le train, tu attends avec moi, il attend sa femme, nous attendons tranquillement, vous attendez les enfants, elles attendent votre réponse. Le verbe le verbe répondre répondre means to answer so it's quite useful and then uh, well it belongs to the third group of uh, verbs so we'll see how to conjugate this verb répondre at the present form so let's see now the first form je réponds je réponds okay so you can see that d and s here are not pronounced je réponds Okay. Tu réponds. Well, the same form. Okay, exactly the same form, so the same pronunciation. Tu réponds. Il répond. So, final D is not pronounced. You will only have this O nasal uh, sound at the end. Répond. Elle répond. Okay. So, je réponds, tu réponds, il répond, elle répond, okay? So, so far, only one way to pronounce it, all right? Then, of course, for nous, we've got the normal and classic ending O-N-S, okay? Don't pronounce the final S, you only pronounce this O sound. So, you get répondons, nous répondons, nous répondons. Okay, and then classic ending for vous as well, a z. Okay, remember you combine these two letters, you get the sound e. So répondez, vous répondez, vous répondez. Okay, and then the last persons here, ils répondent. So, same thing uh, here, classic ending, E-N-T, but then you don't pronounce it, okay? Répond, d, répond, il, répond, elle, répond, okay? So, let's see all the form 
One more time. Je réponds. Tu réponds. Il répond. Elle répond. Nous répondons. Vous répondez. Ils répondent. Elles répondent. Hier. Yesterday. Aujourd'hui. Today. Demain. Tomorrow. OK? Hier. Yesterday. Aujourd'hui. Today. Demain. Tomorrow. So let's see now. Hier. So yesterday. Hier matin. Matin is morning. OK? So yesterday morning will go in French like hier matin. Hier matin. OK? Après-midi means afternoon. Hier après-midi. Yesterday afternoon. Hier après-midi. Hier après-midi. All right? And then soir, evening. Hier soir. Hier soir. OK? So let's repeat that. Hier. Hier matin. Hier après-midi. Hier soir. OK? So now, aujourd'hui. Today. Aujourd'hui. Ce matin. So we put here this ce. This matin. Morning. This morning. Ce matin. Cet après-midi. This afternoon. Cet après-midi. Cet après-midi. Ce soir. Ce soir, evening, this evening. Ce soir. Ce soir. All right. And then, demain, so tomorrow. Demain matin, tomorrow morning. Demain matin. Demain après-midi, tomorrow afternoon. Demain après-midi. Demain soir. Demain soir. Tomorrow evening. Demain soir. So, one more time. Hier. Hier matin. Hier après-midi. Hier soir. Aujourd'hui. Ce matin. Cet après-midi. Ce soir. Demain. Demain matin. Demain après-midi. Demain soir. 50 de 50 à 75 till 75 de 50 à 75 so let's see how they go 50 50 51 51 52 52 53 53 54 54 55 55 56 56 57 57 58 58 59 59 60 60 61 61 62 62 63 63 64 64 
65 65 66 66 67 67 68 68 69 69 And that's normally when my students, when I'm in, in class with them, start to look at me like they, they would like to kill me because now we're getting to the tricky point in French, okay? So have a look here. Now we've got this 70, of course. Uh, but then in French, it's a bit more tricky because you take back the 60, 60, and then you will add the 10, 10. Okay, so... For this 70 session here, you will have to use this 60 and then this. And so all the numbers from 10 to 19, you will have to put them right here after. Okay, so let's see how it goes. 70. 70. 71. 71. Okay, so you can see here now. 60, 60, and then 11, 11. 60 et 11. 72. 72. Same thing here. 60 and then 12. Okay. 73. 73. 74, 74, 75, 75, okay? So we, do, we won't go uh, further uh, not to be more traumatized because I've got some nice surprises after that as well, okay? So remember that, uh, well, till 70, uh, well, it's quite, it's quite, not easy because it's always difficult to remember the numbers but still it's uh, not that tricky okay so remember that for 70 here uh so from 70 to 79 you will have to use this 60 so 60 and then the numbers from 10 to 19 okay this 11 12 13 14 15 etc so we'll see the, the rest uh, in a, a coming lesson so now what we'll do, we'll go to, to till 100 and then we'll see uh, all the, the well, tricky and irregular forms, okay? So, if you remember uh, when we stopped, it was here, okay? So, 75. In French, we'll have to use this 60, so 60, okay? And then after that, you will have to put this 15, 15, okay? So remember, from 70 to 79 it will work the same way so you will have to put this 60 and then the numbers from 10 to 19 after uh sorry yeah 19 yes okay so in that case it's 75 75 okay 60 and then 15 okay next one 76 okay so 60 and 16 okay 76 all right. Soixante-dix-sept. Soixante-dix-sept. Soixante-dix-huit. Soixante-dix-huit. Soixante-dix-neuf. Soixante-dix-neuf. And then quatre-vingt. Okay, so for 80, it's 80. 80. All right? 81. 81. 82. 82. 83. 83. 84 
84 85 85 86 86 87 87 88 88 89 89 And now for 90, well, basically it would be the same thing as we had for 70. So you will take this 80, 80, and then you will add the numbers from 10 to 19 after. So 90, and then 91. So 91, so remember, 80, 80, and then 11, 11, 91, 92, 92, 93, 93, 94, 94, 95, 95, 96, 96, 97, 97, 98, 98 99 99 and the last one 100 remember final t not pronounced 100 okay discover this parce que form so parce que means because okay and it's really really useful so we'll see how to use it okay so parce que here so the first use uh, of uh, parce que is when you want to introduce the reason okay so we we'll get two examples here il ne mange pas tout de suite okay so here you get the negative form remember ne and then pas manger means to eat il ne mange pas so he doesn't eat Tout de suite, well, basically it means right now, parce qu'il, okay, préfère attendre. So in that case, because he prefers to wait. Il préfère attendre, okay. Préférer, to prefer, and then here you can see that Attendre is to wait. Second verb, okay? And then you should put it right here at the infinitive form. So the basic form of, of the verb, okay? Il ne mange pas tout de suite parce qu'il préfère attendre. Okay? Second example. Nous allons dehors. Aller is to go dehors, outside. Nous allons dehors. So we go outside. Parce que, so because... Nous voulons marcher. Vouloir, to want, marcher, to walk. Nous voulons marcher, we want to walk. Okay? Nous allons dehors parce que nous voulons marcher. Okay? And then, the second option to use this parce que is when you want to introduce the cause, la cause. Okay? Example here. Il prend son parapluie. Parapluie, umbrella. Prendre is to take. Il prend son, his. So he's taking his umbrella. Il prend son parapluie parce qu'il pleut. Pleuvoir to rain. 
it rains, il pleut. Il prend son parapluie parce qu'il pleut. Ok And then, second example. Il appelle le garagiste parce que sa voiture ne démarre pas. Ok A place to call. Garagiste is this nice person that will fix your car if it's broken or if it doesn't start, like in this example. Ok Parce que sa voiture, voiture is car, sa voiture, possessive, his car, and then ne pas, so you get the negative form here, and démarrer is to start. Il appelle le garagiste parce que sa voiture ne démarre pas. So because his car doesn't start. Okay? Il appelle le garagiste parce que sa voiture ne démarre pas. All right? So you can see the two main way uh, of uh, using this uh, parce que so the first one the reason in that case uh well it's something that refers to the person okay actually in that case it doesn't he doesn't eat because he prefers uh, to wait and then uh, we go outside because we want okay and then the second uh, possibility when you Uh, talking about la cause, in that case, uh, something that doesn't really, uh, it's not the, 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 the results of uh, what someone is doing, but it's, it's raining in that case, and then the, the car doesn't uh, start, it doesn't really, it's not the result of uh, the action of someone, okay? So, that's the two main use of parce que. We will work on le Moyen-Orient, the Middle East, okay? Let's start. Le Moyen-Orient. So it's interesting here because normally if you would have only this word here, you would pronounce it moyen, moyen, okay? But then as you get this vowel after, okay, you get to make the liaison between the two. Le Moyen-Orient, Moyen-Orient, okay? Let's start now. Israël, Israël. La Palestine, la Palestine, le Liban, le Liban, la Jordanie, la Jordanie. Ok, so let's repeat them one more time. Le Moyen-Orient, Israël, la Palestine, le Liban, la Jordanie. Okay, and now we'll see the nationalities. Okay, so Israel, and I mean, I will put the masculine form here and the feminine form here. Israelien, Israelien, so masculine form and then feminine form. Israelien, Israelien, okay, yen, yen, okay, and then Palestinien. Palestinien, feminine form, palestinienne, palestinienne. Le Liban, libanais, né, né, libanais, libanaise, ok? E, es, z, es, libanais, libanaise. And then, Jordanie. Jordanien, Jordanienne, ok, yen, yen, Jordanien, Jordanienne, ok, so let's see them one more time. Israël, Israélien, Israélienne, la Palestine, Palestinien, Palestinienne, le Liban, Libanais, Libanaise, la Jordanie, Jordanien, Jordanienne, l'Extrême-Orient, so Far East, l'Extrême-Orient, so let's discover that together, so Far East in French we'll say l'Extrême-Orient, l'Extrême-Orient, le Japon, le Japon, la Chine, 
la Chine, la Chine, l'Inde. So remember, you get this nasal here form, I N U. L'Inde, l'Inde, le Pakistan, le Pakistan. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Okay, so let's see everything one more time here. L'Extrême-Orient. Le Japon. La Chine. L'Inde. Le Pakistan. Hong Kong. Okay? And now for the nationalities. So each time I will put the masculine form. And the feminine form, okay? Le Japon, japonais, japonaise, okay? So the only difference is there, est, es, japonais, japonaise. La Chine, chinois, so it's really this wa 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 sound, remember? Chinois, chinoise, z z, was. Chinoise. So, chinois, chinoise. L'Inde. Indien. Lien, indien. Indienne. So, remember this E double N. You open it. E. Indienne. Le Pakistan. Pakistanais. Pakistanaise. Hong Kong, Chinois de Hong Kong, Chinoise de Hong Kong. So let's see them one more time. Le Japon, Japonais, Japonaise. La Chine, Chinois, Chinoise. L'Inde, Indien, Indienne. Le Pakistan, Pakistanais. Pakistanaise. Hong Kong, Chinois de Hong Kong, Chinoise de Hong Kong. Le verbe pronominal. So, what is le verbe pronominal? So, first we'll take an example. Regarder, to look, to watch. Okay? And then, se regarder. In that case, it would be to look at oneself. Okay? So, that's the important thing about this. Verb pronominal, the, le verbe pronominal will be constructed all the time with this se before the verb. Se regarder, okay? And this se will basically change the meaning of the verb because regarder, to look, to watch. Se regarder, to look at oneself, okay? So we'll take an example. So if we take the regarder verb, okay? So normally you will construct this sentence, je regarde la télévision, ok, I watch the television, je regarde la télévision, ok, but then, if you use this se regarder, so as I said, to look at oneself, in that case, je me regarde, alright, so, you will have to add this me thing here, before the verb. Je me regarde. Okay? So let's see how we will conjugate this verb at the present form. Je me regarde. Tu te regarde. Il se regarde. Elle se regarde. Nous nous regardons. Vous vous regardez. Il se regarde. Elle se regarde. So now you can see that you get to add this ne. Se, nous, 
vous, ce, before the verb, when you conjugate it. Okay? Let's take another example. Appeler, to call. Okay? And then the important thing in that case is that, as usual, you know, appeler is starting with a vowel. A, here. And it does mean that, as usual in French, normally we should have this se, but then e will disappear, and it will look like that. S'appeler. So, appeler to call, and then s'appeler to call oneself. Okay? So, let's see how we will conjugate this verb. Je m'appelle. So, same thing here. The e uh, that we had previously disappeared. Je m'appelle. So, remember that's normally the, the, the verb that you use when you introduce yourself. Like, I call myself, so my name is, of course, but then in French it's like, I call myself. Okay, je m'appelle. Tu t'appelles. Tu t'appelles. Il s'appelle. Elle s'appelle. Nous nous appelons. Okay, so I will, I will make the, the liaison. Nous nous appelons. Vous vous appelez. Il s'appelle. Elle s'appelle. <coughs> Sorry. So if you look carefully here as well, so you will have to add this m, t, s, okay? And then nous, vous, s, okay? So remember, it's just because the verb is starting with a vowel. It would be the same if uh, the verb would start with uh, the letter h plus a vowel because we don't pronounce h, so that's the reason why. Uh, my god, I'm losing my voice. Let's hope I will finish. <laughs> um, be careful, because in some cases, when you will uh, add this s in front of the verb, then le sens, so the meaning of the verb, will change. So, I will put a few examples here. Uh, trouver is to find, okay? And then, se trouver means to be, être. Okay? Trouver, to find, but then se trouver is to be, être. Passer, to pass. Se passer, avoir lieu, so to take place. Se passer, to take place. Passer, to pass. Okay? And then, mettre, to put. Se mettre, well, it's to start. Commencer, to start something. Okay? So remember, Trouver, to find, se trouver, être, so to be. Passer, to pass, se passer, avoir lieu, to take place. Mettre, to put, se mettre, commencer, to start something.